In this video, I'm going to compare the old live stream, which is what you see here, and the new live stream, which is more like a social network. You're going to find that the two have very different management applications. Um, you're looking at the old application right now, which is called the live stream studio and this is for a premium account so it includes channel analytics which are very important and this is something that we don't actually have with the new live stream yet at the time of this posting so I have an autopilot going right now I am not broadcasting live but I have a playlist with one two-hour video in it and I am sort of fake broadcasting live right now. You can see I have control over uh, what my viewers are seeing, but this is a video that was previously recorded and is playing from my autopilot. I can put a link on the screen, so if there were tickets that I need to start pushing out, maybe we mention it during the show, um, I can uh, have other types of lower thirds as they're called up here and on livestream.com uh, this is my experience for watching something live it does not have a seek bar uh, down here in the bottom but I can go watch one of the videos uh, on demand so this is the same two hour episode that we did and it has a seek bar so this is great for especially a long uh, piece of content I can skip around. In the management area I'll note that there's a video on demand section here and this is where I can manage what videos I want people to have access to on demand uh, and of course that would offer them the opportunity to seek and uh, scrub through the video and so you may want to do that for some pieces of content and others not. You have a manage uh, library tab and that's for all of your content so if there's something that I did broadcast live a few weeks ago I can store it here until I'm ready to make it available on demand. You'll see that there are widgets available and essentially those are the pieces of content that you see here on the screen but you can place them on your website so I'm going to take you to uh, one of the pages where I've done that this is one of the on-demand episodes available here uh, and of course it has the scrubber along the bottom so that you can choose what it is uh, or what part of the video that you want to watch when one of our shows is live this player swaps out for a live player that looks almost the same but it does not have the seek bar it will also have a chat window next to it so if we go to our main channel page that's where you can see on our main channel page that's where you can see this chat window where I'm logged into Facebook in another window. Um, it remembers that I'm here and I can log in with Facebook immediately without registering with the site. Very useful for engaging folks during a live broadcast. But let's look at the new live stream platform. It's very different. It's not broken down by channels. So essentially we were just looking at um, my channel management area, which is called the studio. We were looking at my channel landing page here. And of course I can have ac uh, provide access to individual videos within my channels page and the chat. The new live stream, you lose the channel terminology it's replaced by account so my account in this case is social media week DC and I have a profile upon which um, I can add events so let's go look at another account where they have 
different events. So we are, uh, this is sort of the equivalent of a channel, but it contains individual events. And when I go uh, to watch or participate in one of these events, you'll see it looks kind of like a blog. Uh, essentially, the new live stream platform is dedicated to live blogging, which can include video, photos, uh, and text. So if I wanted to tune into this, I can just hit play. Um, but let's look at what it's like to launch a, uh, a new event. If I want to create an event, you'll see as a producer that's logged into the new platform, I can announce my event, I can start publishing content before I've announced it, and live video is just one of the four different types of content. But where's the studio? We had a, a great management area here to do lower thirds and other graphics. Uh, not to mention we could have multiple cameras coming into our system and switch between them. With the new live stream, you lose all of that, but you gain this stream of information, which is great to be publishing different kinds of content. And you could have three or four iPhones uh, going, and this is what the app looks like for um, posting content. Live video uh, is coming soon for the iPhone or iPad. But let's discuss what's the impact on professionals that want to potentially monetize and get the most out of the platform. I'd say it's a little too soon to, uh, to jump onto the new system. The reason being, you lose all of these granular channel analytics uh, up to the hour, days, weeks, months of data. Um, I really like selecting the days tab and looking at months of data with granularity um, like you see here. Also, geolocation, we can see all the countries that have tuned in um, to our broadcasts. So that is my take on the new live stream versus the old.